Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I would like to talk about the lunar eclipse that we have in Capricorn. Uh, it's the 16th of July 2019 and I just want to refer specifically to the energies impacting us during this particular lunar eclipse. So I have already spoken about the energies of the solar eclipse that we've just experienced a couple of weeks ago as well as the backlash of it and you can find both those videos um, in the playlist of energy forecasts. So what is it that we are encountering today? Well basically this lunar eclipse has so much to do with love. It has so much to do with a second chakra issues, self-esteem, value, loving oneself, um, feeling um, a degree of attraction well, how do we find ourselves? Do we find ourselves attractive? How do we respond to how others see us? Well, that's just one of the energies of today, but we mostly are focusing on love. And this, I want you to do this video because I believe that quite a few of the followers of this channel are interested in twin flame relationships. And this particular lunar eclipse has so much to do with twin flame relationships. It actually asks us to evaluate where our relationships are serving us and where they do not serve us. It asks us to draw boundaries. It asks us to um, implement a new level of tolerance in our relationships. So as usual, this energy will impact you all in different ways. But for some of you, it might actually have begun working its way into your life from about a year and a half ago. And you might have been evaluating whether this relationship is, is worth it or not, whether it serves you or not, whether it works for your highest good or whether it depletes you or is detrimental to you. And you might have been considering such questions over the last 18 months or so. For some of you, you may have drawn away from your partner or from your loved one of this period and you might be reevaluating this relationship wondering whether you should go back to it but this energy of this eclipse this lunar eclipse would certainly have brought up thoughts of your twin flame of your partner of your love relationship call it karmic call it twin flame call it soulmate whatever it is questions of love come to the fore at the moment and questions of love that we have left behind come to the fore as well. So people who you might have thought that you've gotten over or uh, loved ones that you might have wanted really hard to get over might have entered your life again in the last week and you might it might be teasing you, it might be asking you questions of are you really over this person? Or it might be a reminder or a measure of how much you've grown apart from this person. And we are standing at the threshold of a new life, of a new beginning. And we have to ask ourselves, do we turn back? Do we regress? Do we continue with this relationship that doesn't serve us? Or if the relationship serves you, how are we moving forward in it? How are we transforming in it? Can we walk hand in hand together into the future, both on our own paths on our individual parts of transformation, but still be endearing towards this partnership that we have. So these are the type of questions that you'll be dealing with at this moment. For some of you, it's actually quite clear that the relationships in the past and there's no going back. And the questions that you will be asking yourself are more along the lines of, how do I love myself? How do I want to be loved in the future? What are my criteria for being in a relationship? And what do I expect from a love in the future? For some of you, you may be wondering if you could ever have another connection as deep as the ones that you've had already. And this might be a primary focus for you. Can you have another relationship with that depth? Can you actually feel that soul connection with another person? And that is a question that will still need to be answered as you go ahead. This is something that uh, is an open question. It can be so. You can actually feel 
a, 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 a deep connection, perhaps even a deeper connection, it will just be different. With each love or partner that one has, one has a different type of connection with this person and the experience that you have is quite different. Remember that we bring into our lives people that are there to assist us in our learning and our growth and the partners that we have attract and attracted until now have been very much there for huge, very deep, fundamental soul transformation. And you have the choice of whether you grow in that context, or whether you actually uh, allow it to beat you over the brow, whether you fall into disappointment and sadness uh, and a degree of dissatisfaction, or whether you're able to understand yourself better through the relationship and learn a new level of loving. You understand what unconditional love is, or you understand what a self-sacrificial love is, but with respect to oneself and with uh, healthy boundaries that you have with the person. You understand what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept from partners. And for those of you who are just in an infatuation phase, um, you'd be wondering more or less about whether that person is really still in your life, whether they still wonder about you, whether they think about you at all, or whether you were thinking about them. There would be questions of how relevant is that person in my life at the moment? So this lunar eclipse is definitely all about love questions. And for those of you who aren't, who aren't faced with love questions, you may be faced with questions of um, how you love yourself. Um, what is your self-worth? What is your self-esteem at? Where is your self-esteem at? Um, how do you move on from here? How do you understand yourself better? What do you need to do in order to explore and to discover yourself and, and go into new depths with yourself? So those are some of the questions that we have at the moment. As we move on, as we hit August this year and as we move on to the end of the year, to November, we have a whole new set of energies that confront us. And we may either walk this path or we may turn back and retrace the steps of the past, of the past six months. If we decided to trace the steps of the last six months, you would find that around February, or you might have been very much enamored by your partner. You might have had lots of thoughts of this person, whether you be infatuated with this person, or whether you want a relationship with them, or whether you were in a relationship with them. But between February and now, you would have been working away from them, or working more towards oneself, and what one's own priorities are, and what one's own needs are. And now, we could either go back and retrace those steps and then reevaluate ourselves, where we at with ourselves, where we at in our relationships later on in the year. Or we could be in a mournful state, wishing and hoping, missing if we're not with our partners. The choice is yours and it's really really up to you to make a decision as to how you go forward. Where do you place your energy? Where do you place your time? Where do you place your effort? And not just succumbing to thoughts um, and to feelings which regurgitate itself, but rather taking control of your mind, setting goals for oneself, clearing your mind in order to arrive at your priorities and staying in touch with yourself and not allowing oneself to be blown away into a fantasy, into the idea of true love, into the idea of um, twin flame relationships or karmic relationships or uh, soulmate connections. However you want to name these connections, ultimately all that they represent is the love that we have for ourselves, that we use that we actually mirror in others. It's the love that we have in ourselves that we see in others. 
so one may choose to evaluate how you love one how you love yourself the way in which you treat others is a pure indicator of how you love yourself are you disappointed in the other are you punishing the other are you loving the other are you compassionate towards the other are you tolerant towards the other these are all themes um, that you will be dealing with and that will come to the fore as we go ahead. For the moment, the lunar eclipse brings back all love. It brings back deep connection. And one has a chance to reevaluate how one loves and how one wishes to love. So that's it for today. That's just a short message uh, with some of my thoughts about this lunar eclipse. And once again, if you'd like to um, hear more about the soul eclipse that we experienced two weeks ago and the last six months of energy, well, um, you can uh, click on this video. Or if you are interested just in the backlash of the soul eclipse, that is the energy that was within the last two weeks, well, you can click right here. All right. I thank you for all for coming to this channel. I thank you all to all my subscribers and to my viewers. And I hope this message has helped you in some way and it's resonated with you in some way. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.